This video is for lesson 6-4. We're going to start talking about the volume of cylinders. So to find the volume of a cylinder, you only need the dimensions of the base and the height. So the equation for finding the volume of a cylinder is V equals big B H. And big B is equal to the area of the base. And so in a cylinder, the base is always the circle. So shapes are named by their base. So if it's a cylinder, it's going to have a circular bottom. So I can rewrite this equation as volume equals, all right, so the area of the base and the area of a circle, the area of a circle is pi r squared. And then I still have to multiply by the height of the figure. So the height is how tall from the base. And so if it's turned this way, the base is not necessarily the shape it's sitting on. It's the shape that it's, it's named for. So again, this circle here is going to be the base. And then the height of the figure is going to be this distance. It's how tall um, the figure is or what the distance is between the bases. Okay. So on this side, they give you V equals BH, big BH. So we're going to use volume equals pi R squared H. So when you're finding volume, when you're using anything that has a formula, it's always a good idea to rewrite your formula. So you make sure that you're getting the pieces in the right places. And just like we did with the circles yesterday, we're going to plug in. So my base is this circle on the bottom. So the radius of that base is this distance here. So what I can do, instead of an R, I'm going to plug the 2 in because that 8 is the radius. And then the height is this 14. So same thing as we've done before. We're going to do Y equals. And so we don't know. We're looking for the volume. So we can put X in. And then you can do the pi 8 squared 14. But if you have a side like this that has no variables in it, you can just type this in as well. So for this one, I could do pi times 8 squared and then parentheses 14. And so here we're going to um, round to the nearest hundredth. So my volume here would be 28. 14.87. Now, this, the cylinder is measured in inches, so my unit would be inches cubed. For volume, we do cubed. All right, so here's another cylinder. So again, I'm going to write my formula. Volume equals pi r squared h. I'm looking for the volume, so nothing to plug in there. The radius, so remember the radius is halfway across the base of a circle. So that would be a 4. And then my height is the height of the figure, so a 6. So again, same thing here. I can just do pi 4 squared and then times 6. And so for this one, again, we're rounding to the hundredths. So volume equals 301.59. It's measured in feet, so feet cubed. All right, here's another cylinder, but this time they have given me diameter. I have to have radius. So the diameter equals 14. So the radius would equal 14 divided by 2, which would be 7. So my formula again, and I plug in what I know. So the radius is 7, and then the height here is 30. So don't get confused. Don't put the 14 for the height. Make sure you clearly know which is the height. So for this one, your volume is going to equal 2,155.13. This is centimeters cubed. All right, one more cylinder here. So again, they gave me the diameter. I need the radius, so I have to divide the diameter by 2. So my radius is 6. 
All right, now my formula. So volume equals pi r squared h. Plug in what I know. The radius is 6, and the height is 10. So I can do it again this way, pi times 6 squared and times 10, rounding to the hundredths. So my answer would be 1,130.97. This is millimeters, so millimeters cubed. Now, they don't always give you nice, pretty pictures, so sometimes we get word problems. So Robin just bought a new fish tank. The tank is 14 inches tall and has a diameter of eight inches. How much water can Robin put in the tank? So I would recommend if you can, draw yourself a diagram. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to work. So here's my tank. Now it says it's 14 inches tall. So I know this is 14 and it has a diameter that's all the way across of eight inches. That way you can label and make sure that you're getting the pieces in the right places. So again, they gave me diameter, but I know I'm gonna need radius. So I have to divide the diameter by two. And then now my formula. So volume equals pi r squared h. So my radius is four and my height is 14 and you can type it in the same way that we've done these other ones and your volume is going to be 703.72 i'm dealing with inches so inches cubed all right number two mike wants to put as much juice as possible in his cup his cup is seven inches tall and has a four inch diameter how much juice can mike pour in his cup all right so we've got a cup here And it says it's seven inches tall and it's got a diameter of four. So again, they've given me the diameter. I need the radius. So I have to divide the diameter by two. And now I can plug everything into my formula. So volume equals pi r squared h. And now we can plug and chug. So the radius is two. The height is seven plug it into your calculator just like we've been doing and you'll get a volume of 87.96 that inches so inches cute all right and the last one the miller family is filling their new pool the pool is six feet deep and has a radius of 10 feet what is the volume of the pool all right so we've got a pool Draw this one a little bit bigger. Pools are usually bigger than cups. So it's six feet deep. And this time they give me radius. Radius is 10 feet. So I don't have to convert anything. I can go straight to my formula, pi r squared h. So the radius is 10. The height is 6. If I plug it into my calculator. I get 1,884.96, I'm dealing in feet, so feet cute. So that is it for this video.